Hey ladies and gentlemen, good day. Sorry I hadn't been to you sooner today, but I've had some a lot of things going on this morning. Been tied up. Uh, got a got a, a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. A lot of situations. But I just want to thank all you subscribers out there. Hey, thumbs up to you. Listen, today at one o'clock Central Time, the news is going to be a major decision. I'm wanting all my forex traders to go to uh, the calendar on forexfactory.com today. And I want you to look at the Euro USD on the four hour chart. You see, you put four hour, you'll, you'll hit a scroll down, and you see it's got the time frames. You just scroll on down. There's the three hour, you go to the next one, be the four hour. You just scroll on down. So I want you guys to get that set up. And be looking at this Euro USD. Yeah, it's went up. It's come down. It's it's going to depend on the news. You see, it's in consolidation right there. It's got a spinning top. It's indecisive. It's waiting on the news. Now then, the next thing I want you to do today is go to Forex Factory. Boy, my phone. Forex Factory. We're gonna load up the fresh, fresh one. We're going to go down that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday. Of course, everybody knows that. We've got some major news coming out today. We had some last night on the GBP. It was good. I was thinking about doing some GBP USD today. We've got a lot of USD. This could be a very confusing day. If some of this comes out good, some of this comes out bad, confusing. We're going to stay away from the CHF. You know, the GBPC, I mean the USD CHF, yeah, too risky. Too risky. We're going to try to pair the USD with something that don't have no news coming out today or tomorrow or Friday. Like maybe the Japanese yen. It's got some minor news, minor news, nothing big. The Euro's got some news. So we're going to look at the USDJPY today. So let's go up here and everybody pull up your USDJPY charts today. Let's see what we got here. And on the four hour... And this is what we're going to be looking at. And our other trades, just to catch you up, they're all looking good. They're not moving a whole lot, but we're in the plus. We're in the plus. Well, I don't have time to go through those other trades with you today, but they're still riding. Okay, here we go. We got the Japanese. I think this is our best bet for today. I think this is our best bet for today. Depending on what the U.S. dollar news is. It's going to depend on what this is going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have much time. I'm going to go help a good friend of mine today on some trading. And uh, I will keep you updated. But I want all of y'all to get on that four-hour chart, USD, JPY, and just watch and see what it does at 1 o'clock Central Time in Texas. You're going to have to adjust your time. I will tell you right now, it is 1130 basically in Texas, so an hour and a half from now. Uh, be looking for some news, okay, on forexfactory.com. Go there, go to Forex Factory, and you're going to go to the calendar right here, the calendar. And the calendar is going to show you, and then go down to Wednesday, and be watching for these folders right here, these USD red folders, and there's going to be some numbers come out over here. If those numbers are green... You're going to see a rise in the USDJPY. If those numbers are red, you're going to see a fall. And if those numbers are mixed, it may not do much at all. So we're going to wait for the news and react to it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a good one.